like, comment, and subscribe. For today's Let's Talk Jinx, we're going to continue with talking about the ruination and kind of continuing an idea we talked about before. Before we talked about which skin would you like Jinx to get, now we're just going to talk about what side do you think Jinx would take? Because one of the things about talking about skins that was interesting was reasons why they would like to see certain things. Some people would like to see like Ruination Jinx because they think that would align more with how chaotic she is with chaos and stuff. But then some people would like the Sentinel idea because like the guns, how the gun design would look in like a Sentinel skin as well. And thinking about Jinx is kind of interesting because with her mentality, you know, uh, her mentality isn't necessarily like straight pure evil, like like a monarch or like a dictator or something. She just likes chaos. She likes how something might look like if it explodes, for example, and things like that. And we've learned things like this through countless years of Jinx now existing, coming up on the eighth year she's been in League of Legends, as well as if you just talk to August sometimes or any of the other people that worked on, you know, creating Jinx and bringing Jinx to a reality. So the reason I bring that up is because Ideally, people would think, oh, so she wouldn't join the Sentinels because that's the good guys. She would join the Ruination automatically because she's a bad guy. And yeah, there might actually be reasons why she would join Viego and like the Ruination side. Not just because August made both those champions, but yeah, there might be something in it for, you know, being a Ruination or like Ruin Jinx, getting able to bring even more destructive blasts and just chaos to like a Piltover, for example. But the argument for Sentinel Jinx could look something like this too. I just kind of want to give both sides some ammo basically so they can both feel like they have a chance in case someone's like, I really was hoping maybe people would agree with me on Sentinel Jinx, but I don't got a leg to stand on. I'm about to give you one leg to stand on at least, and that would be this. Sometimes it's fun to think about how cool it'd be to bring down some sort of established order, right? When I think of the Empire from Star Wars, for example, one of the reasons that I like the Rebellion isn't necessarily because I was like, oh, they're the good guys, they're the best, they're clean, they're pure, it's awesome. Obviously, when you, if you watch the original trilogy, that is the narrative we're kind of given a little bit, because like there are some good Rebellion members, like Luke and stuff like that, too. But for me, it was more like, I like the idea of what, how cool would it look to see like a Star Destroyer explode. When the Empire shows up, they usually show up in like overwhelming force and orderly fashion that the Rebellion really has no choice but to retreat. And even in fleet battles especially for the longest, I'm not going to get too much into Star Wars, this is League of Legends, but like the Rebellion usually had to flee for a lot in the early beginnings of like the Rebellion especially because they never even had a ship that could even go toe to toe with a Star Destroyer. And even when the Mon Calamari came in with their Star Cruisers, which finally gave the Rebellion a warship that could actually tackle going against a Star Destroyer, like it was still a Star Destroyer, there was always a chance you still would lose. It's just maybe you had a chance you could fight it, just like in the classic Battlefront 2 game and Space Battles, that's what a Mon Calamari Cruiser were if you're old enough to remember that what I'm saying so it's like for some people they just kind of want you know like Jinx is in that mindset a little bit with her chaos like chaotically it might be like oh but how cool would it be to mess up the established order of like an empire and blow up a Star Destroyer now granted once Disney bought Star Wars we've seen more Star Destroyers blown up in the last couple years than we have in the previous like 30 years before that but that's a different conversation in a different video my point is maybe for you Sentinel people she would look at the Ruination and just think about how cool it would look to blow up Ruination stuff. Blow up Ruination champions, Ruination structures that have been basically devoured down anyway, so they were already destroyed. Maybe she'd be like, but the colors, right? Like maybe the colors of something that was ruined blowing up would be cool. Like the greens and stuff exploding into who knows what kind of spectrums of colors with whatever explosives that she uses, right? So there you go. If you're more on the Sentinel side, that's a little bit I'm giving you and saying, yeah, there, there you go. That that could be the mentality that would lead her to like want to be part of the Sentinel. That and also maybe, because there's like the chance when it comes to like Jinx's like psychology, so to speak. Um, like that's fish bones, it's sort of like repressed sane memories talking and she's using basically the uh, rocket launch as a puppeteer to kind of talk about those sometimes right that's the idea obviously when arcane comes out later in the year we actually get like the jinx and vi and like zon piltover like animated series that comes out on netflix we'll get more about to probably stuff in the backstory period but that's the idea for a long time is that's actually what why she would puppeteer fish bones like that is that's actually her sane self whatever sane parts about her are left um, and that would mean that her sane self is a bit more like down to earth than obviously her crazy self, go figure. But uh, there, there could be that too. I'll give you two legs. There you go. Two legs, Sentinel people. You don't get like a full horse like the Ruination people probably got. But you get two legs. So you're, like a, you're a human. There you go. You know, there you go. All right. Awesome. But yes, yeah, so with that being said, that could be an interesting uh, dynamic, obviously having Sentinel Jinx. Because like Star Guardian Jinx exist if you will. And Star Guardian Jinx wasn't like Jinx becoming like this pure, wholesome, awesome, good guy, but it was the idea of, but like, what if? 
Jinx was a good guy. This is how she would maybe tackle being a good guy. Uh, I know Ruination and like the the root and the Sentinels of Light and all this is supposed to be like a, a canonical League of Legends story, which is interesting for several reasons. One, and obviously every single League champion was not going to get a skin, either Sentinel of Light skin or Ruination skin. But it is interesting that one of the first major events to strike Runeterra, like there's uh, like empty swaths worth of champions missing like when Demacia has fallen where is Galio where is you know Garen where is Lux where even is Silas for that matter I think he's off in Feryord but like the Runations apparently passed through Feryord before he got to Demacia I guess uh, like where are a lot of champions and Jinx included I imagine she like like this is kind of like not necessarily her thing but like you know Piltover is being destroyed by the Runation Zaun is being destroyed by the Runation you would probably hear about a couple champions, but it's just, that's also another video maybe for another time. Not really a complaint either, but just consider it's like a world devastating event. It'd be kind of cool to even just think about, like even if you don't want to take a side, what do you think Jinx is even doing then during this? Graves apparently is the one that's going to be in Piltover and Zaun while the Runation is hitting. Like during the little, like the little like a uh, visual novel story thing that's going on in the client as this like canonical storyline progresses. So maybe we will hear about some of the champions as this thing continues on as well. It will be interesting to see how certain champions, again, tackle such an event going on. But I am kind of curious about you guys' opinion, essentially, in the comment section down below. So whether you think she'd be ruined, you think she'd be a sentinel, you think she'd just be doing her own thing, maybe she's unaffected, and there's like a whole thing of champions that are like unaffected, comment in the comment section down below what you think. It's been a chaos. You ever try to record a video and a sneeze just tries to come for like three minutes straight and then it finally comes out after taking another minute of silence. And so you have to just edit that all together and that's going to be an interesting bit for a video, of course. But yeah, that's where we are. Especially one thing to note is usually every two weeks we do a patch video. Next week, however, will still be patch 11.15 because Riot is doing like that vacation thing they've started doing every summer. So this patch particularly will be three weeks long instead of two weeks long. So next week we can maybe even talk more about Runation or we can talk about a different topic whatsoever but it won't be a patch video if you're expecting a patch video so just keep that in mind a little bit of a PSA we're gonna wrap this video up by saying thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe we are almost at 2400 subscribers I think we can hit that before the end of the summer but thank you so much for watching this video I don't know which video will be next because I can have a lot of kinks so until this time take care GG get jinxed thank you for watching and enjoy Pizza responsibly.